old TVs. You may be asking, Neo, why, uh, why do you have an old TV on your desk? Like, don't you have two perfectly good monitors over there? Like, uh, what's going on? Well, I got to thinking and I was like, why do speedrunners lug around giant CRT TVs during Games Done Quick, the biannual speedrunning event, just to play Mario 64? Like, well, what's the deal? And then I remembered it's because of the cathode ray tubes, which is what CRT stands for. So I, I went to go do some research and I found out that very little information is actually processed onto the CRT TV itself before the signal is sent to the display. Rather, the time it takes to process each individual frame is dependent on how fast the screen itself is lit, uh, which is why when I turn on the TV, even though it won't work in this case because I'm using a phone, I, I forgot to plug it in. Oh. Yep, I, I am a professional. I remember to plug in everything. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now that, I, now that I actually turned it on, you can see that the scan lines uh, don't appear because I'm using a phone rather than when you use analog cameras, which you've probably seen if you've seen footage of these old TVs shot before. Uh, in that case, the refresh rate of the CRT TV would be out of sync of the shutter speed of physical cameras. And because they're out of sync, that causes those weird lines that you see. You can also see this in the very well done video by the Slomo guys, which also showcases the differences between CRT TVs and LCD TVs and LED TVs, where information on LCD TVs or LED TVs uh, have more lag because the information on the screen is processed completely, then displayed on the screen, which is why CRT TVs are faster. You can see this in real time for both displays in the video. It's really cool. I'll link it in the description. So I, I got to thinking, hey, what if I play modern games on old TVs like FNAF or even Minecraft? Will, will that help me improve in those games that are reaction based? Uh, but probably not. I, I have terrible reactions. Yeah. But I kind of just want to play new games on old TVs. So uh, there's only one problem with that. Uh, you kind of can't connect HDMI cords to old TVs. They, they weren't even a thing at the time. Like, I, I don't think this could go, I don't think this could go here. Or, yeah, no, I, I don't think there's any fitting this HDMI cord in there. So, uh, I, I guess I have to go see if I could buy an adapter or something. So, uh, to the store! Yo, let's go. Boom. I went to the store and got an HDMI to AV adapter to test different games on the CRT TV to see if my reactions are better or worse or I don't know. I just wanted to play new games on old TVs. And you might have noticed there's a keyboard and mouse here because I'm just going to be using this as if it was like a normal monitor. <laughs> so I guess uh, here goes nothing. I guess the first game up is Five Nights at Freddy's 1. What better game to start out with than the game where you're looking at old surveillance cameras? Uh, I think this is going to be cool. So I'm going to turn down the lights and we're going to play a spooky game. This is kind of cool because I tend to uh, look at FNAF lore a lot, so uh, it's kind of like a nostalgic trip for me to go back to the first FNAF. Yeah, I think the key is not to freak out. Chica's out! Chica's out! Oh, uh, okay, okay. Look, uh, I'm just checking the lights. You know, it's 12 a.m. You know, uh, we're, we're vibing. <laughs> it's been so long since I played this game. So uh, I'm just checking the main stage. I'm checking Pirate's Cove. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. The FNAF 1 has this type of aura where like it consistently like makes me nervous looking back on it, which I think speaks to the strength of the game, I'll be honest. And establishing the eerie vibe, no matter how much I wrap myself in like the lore. I think that's a really cool accomplishment. Honestly, I kind of like playing it on this old TV. I feel like this is a great experience. It fits the old aesthetic of Freddy's with the cameras. I just think it's a really cool thing that you wouldn't normally think to do. But since I'm doing it, I, I think it enhances the game. I'm gonna try to listen and hopefully not waste my power. I, I hate the footsteps. Is Bonnie still there? Bonnie's still there. We'll check some cameras. Where's Chica? Oh, 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 they're in the dining area. We should be good. We should be good. I'm gonna open the door. It's only 2 a.m. I've used almost 56% of my power. The carnival noises are starting. Uh, I forgot what that means. What does that mean? I just hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Boop the nose for good luck. Boop it. Boop the nose. Hey, Bonnie's still there. Why is Freddy there? What? <gasps> They're all out. That just happened so suddenly. Wait, no, no. Okay, I don't know if that was Foxy and Freddy. Foxy's about to jump out. 
It would be so bad that Foxy just jumps out. Check on Foxy. Check the door. Check the door. We're fine. We're fine. We're doing great. 5 a.m. Uh oh, come on. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna check this uh, door. Foxy's out. How much power is Foxy gonna take? Take the power already. Wait, is that Chica in the kitchen or is that Foxy? No, I think that's Foxy. Oh my gosh, I hate this. Okay, Foxy's back. I'm gonna lift that door. Oh jeez, no. <laughs> Why did that get me so much? I jumped. You know, and I thought I was desensitized. Oh jeez. <gasps> Let's go. Let's go. Okay, that that was really cool on an old TV. That, that was, no, I'm not doing night four. That was stressful. That was really cool. And I would probably recommend people play that if they can play it on an old TV. I think it enhances the experience. Like in a dark room with the CRT, it's just so cool. Like even though I wasn't like judging response times, just the aesthetic really fits. And I would just highly recommend. Yeah, I, I would honestly just highly recommend this to anyone who can do it. it it's so cool. But for now, we move on to the next game, which is Minecraft. We're playing a bit of block game, but not just block game. We're playing in Bed Wars. FNAF is more just like a good experience, something that you wouldn't expect to like experience on a CRT TV. Well, this one, I guess, can be more based on reaction time. Uh, it might just be like the placebo effect, but it does seem like slightly more responsive. I, I guess there's like no way to tell unless I had like equipment to measure the frame time response, but I, I don't know how to do that. I I'm not that smart. Okay, uh, there's already one huge problem. I can't read the UI. I can barely tell how much wool I have. Like I could tell if I squint real hard that that's 55 pieces of wool. I feel like it's also harder to like uh, maneuver the mouse and like the smaller screen size. And even just like speed bridging my, my new movements. But this is kind of harder than I thought it would be. Oh no, 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 no. I, I, look, listen, I'm on the CRT TV. I'm handicapped. Um, you know what? I don't think that was really fair. It was my first game. It was a warm up round. Y you know, I'll totally just play another one. We'll win the next one. Come on. We, we got this. We, we, we got this. So this time, uh, I'm actually going to leave my island because I think that would actually help me, you know, win the game getting materials, you know, but I, I feel like we also need to test a game like this because I, I didn't even use my keyboard for FNAF. Y you just use the mouse. Okay, I'm gonna start bridging. No, green, you will not. No, green, I don't think so. No. How do you, how do you not take as much fall damage? No, no, you can't, you won't get away with this. You won't get away with this, okay? Okay, N no, please. Look, I'm handicapped. I'm on this strange layout, you know? I'm getting used to it. No, no, go. Oh my gosh, how did I do that? How did I do that? Die, die, die. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, I, I, I thought I wasn't going to have enough time to break the wall, but we're fine. No, die, die. Let's go. I like how I'm celebrating over getting one kill. Listen, I'll, I'll take the small victories at this point. It feels more different than you think it would be uh, if you use a CRT TV. I'm just saying, I'm kind of speed bridging. It's a moderate paced bridge. It's so hard to tell. Oh wait, is it just me and Gray? Oh no. Okay, I also just realized I don't know where Gray's base is. I just know it's vaguely in this direction. Okay, so here's white. Oh, they, they're invis, they're invis. No, no, not today, not today, not today. No, not today, not today. No! Okay, well, well played. Honestly, I did better than I expected on that second round. Uh, the first round was abysmal, but uh, you know, I, at least the second round was okay. Finally, everyone's favorite meme after Among Us, Fortnite. So I think the thing I'm going to worry about the most about Fortnite is the, the render distance. Honestly, I think the render distance is going to be the hardest part because it's going to be so hard to pick out what's what in the distance especially because i don't know this map i have not played this game in so long like why is there a volcano here what is this is chapter one isn't this supposed to be chapter three what a sniper oh then this would be so funny if i got a kill with a sniper 
Okay, okay, that's my goal, to snipe someone. That'd be so funny with how bad the quality of the TV is. Why is there a- but why is that a bore? When did they add Pumba into Fortnite? I was not aware of this. Okay, shots fired. Listen, I- I want to snipe someone. That's my only goal here. Oh my god, who shot me? Who- Shots fired? More like shots misfired. Uh, only the best wordplay here at, at the Weeping Neo channel. Mm-hmm. Wait, someone's healing? Where? Hold on, I'm just gonna run into you. No, that failed. Epic fail. Oh, I forgot. You could slide in this game now. I I'm sliding. Wait, where where'd they go? How about you? You did no. You know, I was just so flabbergasted. Like, can you even speak? Uh, okay, fortieth isn't you know the worst thing in the world, but uh, okay. Yeah, my my goal is to just get a sniper rifle and get a headshot. That is my only goal. Okay, no sniper yet, but I, I did need a hot pepper. My name is Weeping You, and welcome back to Hot Pepper Gaming. Today's review is of a, is a Fortnite. You know, uh, I'm running around. I ate a pepper. <gasps> Let's go. Now we just need to find a target. Oh, there's some shots firing in the distance. Oh, oh. <gasps> 86. Okay, it wasn't headshot, but I, I got 86. I got 86. Oh, missed one. Missed two. Now they're behind the tree. Come on. Let's go! Wait. Was that even me? No, it wasn't even me! How did I miss? How did I miss? Okay. I think I have one shot left. One shot. Let's go! I don't even need to win. I, I won in my heart. Okay, where where's this other person? Let's combat slide down. Nope, you can't touch this. I, I got one singular headshot. What? I just got killed by a tree! When did trees follow the rules of gravity in this game? I just got killed by a tree. When did they add gravity? When did they add that? So, all in all, did using a CRT TV actually improve my skills in any of the games that I played? Uh, no. But it did offer a unique experience for those games. Especially FNAF, where FNAF is a game where throughout the series you're using surveillance cameras, using this old technology from the 80s. It was a really cool experience to use that to play the game in the first place, which is something I would have never experienced otherwise, and it enhanced the game. And I thought it really enhanced the experience. And I would even recommend it if you could try it. But I guess at the end of the day, we can all take away one thing. Stay away from those trees! They'll kill ya! <laughs> gonna wait for Fortnite to install. Hey, while I'm here, maybe you should uh, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. That, that'd be really cool, you know. Check out this video. Uh, YouTube algorithmically recommended it to you. It may be good, it may be bad, who knows? 